Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about cryptocurrency. It's the hottest topic and the hottest thing going. But there's a lot that you should know. Remember that anything that you invest in, you should have some understanding of what it's about. Who else is interested? Who's lost money? Who's made money? How does this thing actually benefit me to take a risk? So let's talk about cryptocurrency today. So it's really important for me to help you understand a little about cryptocurrency, what's going on with it, how it might affect you. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, crypto's price predictions for 2021 and how some of these analyst views might affect you in your life. But before I go there, I want to just talk about what is cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency is a form of payment that can be exchanged online for goods or services. Many companies have issued their own currencies, often called tokens, and they can be traded specifically for the goods or services that that company offers. Think of them as it would be like an arcade token or when you go to a car wash. You'll need to exchange the currency for the crypto to access the goods or services. Cryptocurrency uses technology called blockchain, right? Blockchain is the centralized technology spread across many computers for management and to record the transactions. Part of the appeal to this technology is its security. That's right. This ledger technology is more secure. So when they say that cryptocurrency is not secure, they're talking more about the investment and not the actual security of the system. So how many cryptocurrencies are there and what are they worth? Well, there's more than 6,700 different cryptocurrencies and they're, that are traded publicly according to coinmarketcap.com, a market research website. And cryptocurrencies continue to proliferate. They're raising money through initial coin offerings or ICOs, you know, like IPOs, which we're used to hearing on Wall Street. The total value of all cryptocurrencies April 2021 was more than $2.2 trillion, according to CoinMarketCap. And the total value of all Bitcoins, the most popular digital currency, was pegged at about $1.2 trillion. So is cryptocurrency safe to invest in? Well, investments are always risky, but some experts say that cryptocurrency is one of the riskier investment choices out there, according to Consumer Reports. However, digital currencies are also some of the hottest commodities. The meteoric increase in the value of Bitcoin has positioned cryptocurrencies as the forefront of investors' attention, even those traditional investors are buying. Bitcoin is currently the largest cryptocurrency with a market capitalization of one. It's too big for me to even look at. Okay, so although Bitcoin is the number one cryptocurrency, there are currently over 10,000 plus cryptocurrencies in use. 10,000. Several digital currencies have outformed returns on Bitcoin. For example, Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency with a market cap of more than 300 billion, has increased by 750% since 2020, surpassing Bitcoin by 600% gain. That's right. So let's look at some cryptocurrency highlights for 2021. Gemini, a cryptocurrency exchange, has unveiled a cryptocurrency reward card in collaboration with MasterCard and West Bank. Can you imagine that? The Gemini credit card will be available by summer of 2021. It's one of the most fascinating developments in the cryptocurrency world. Tesla founder Elon Musk tre uh, tweeted about Dogecoin causing the coin's price to rise 254% in less than 24 hours. The meme cryptocurrency reached an all-time high from 45 cents upwards April the 16th. The Pittsburgh Pirates, an American baseball team, has collaborated with crypto industry veterans to create 
a reward-based platform to capitalize on a growing desire for more digital focused experiences. And Binance, the world's biggest crypto exchange for trading volume, announced plans to launch its own non-fungible token, an NFT. Uh, Turkey's central bank uh, has outlawed the use of cryptocurrency, so everybody's not on board with this. They outlaw outlaw uh, stuff such as Bitcoin to buy products and services, citing the possibility of irreparable disruption and significant transaction costs. On Friday, the bank published regulations in the official gazette, stating that cryptocurrencies could not be used as payment instrument for direct or indirect payment for goods and services. So let's talk about some trader sentiment right now. These are people who are actually using it. That becomes kind of important because they're the people that are in the mix. So there's been an escalation in cryptocurrency investments in recent months with banks and institutions and even baseball teams, like I just told you, getting involved. It's easy to believe that crypto trading volume is going to increase. According to JP Morgan, huge investment company, um, institutional investors see things like Bitcoin as a digital alternative to gold, which has long been regarded as a conventional uh, hedge asset. Grayscale Bitcom Trust investment inflows have risen while gold EFTs investments have remained nearly unchanged. So crypto amongst gold, it looks like the crypto is a better short-term investment. It remains to be seen how well it will do over time. We know gold will hold its value, but crypto may not. So um, JP Morgan's uh, market forecast has a huge move from gold to cryptocurrency. Now this makes sense based on what I just told you. But with flat currency will continue to bear the brunt of the pandemic effects, it's going to look like that. Should we not be in this situation in the future, and there's some negative news about cryptocurrency, gold may turn out to have been a very smart investment. Now remember, I'm not giving you any types of investment advice here. I'm literally just trying to break down to you what's going on in this really confusing crypto world and for you novice to help you understand what's going on around you. So according to CoinDesk report, retail investors are finally showing signs of interest. This could lead to more buying, more of a bullish cycle for crypto and shaped by bullish sentiment and uh, rising awareness among retail investors, uh, they believe that crypto may explode in 2021. Cryptocurrency predictions for 2021, um, the best alternative coins to watch, I'm going to give those to you right now. How about Ethereum? The digital token was launched in July 2015 as a trading price close to $2. It's risen by more than 130%. Ethereum is currently trading a price of nearly $2,600, making it one of the most profitable cryptocurrencies. On Tuesday, Ethereum reported new highs, and it, every week it's been smashing its previous highs. And this was even as Bitcoin fell. So, the next one is Cardano. Uh, it's currently the seventh larger cryptocurrency a cryptocurrency with a market cap of almost 40 billion dollars US dollars since its inception ADA or Cardano has risen by 6.250 that's 6250 percent it's currently trading at about a dollar and 30 cents the successful launch of the future Cardano updates appears to be a positive thing any delays in the release of the Ethereum could prompt developers and consumers to switch to Cardano instead of Ethereum. So now we've got some market forces going on where people are making choices about which coin they feel more confident with and which is going to be the better investment. 
This is the basis of capitalism for all the people that think that cryptocurrency is anti-capitalistic. So third is Ripple. Ripple is the fourth largest cryptocurrency project in terms of market capitalization with a total market valuation of 6.1 billion. Due to the large number of coins in circulation, over 45 billion, a single unit of this Ripple is relatively inexpensive compared to the other top 10 projects in the market. The significantly lower price per makes it very attractive. Now, let's talk about some of the biggest supporters of these cryptocurrencies. How about the Winklevoss twins? The Winklevoss twins were among the top 10 cryptocurrency billionaires. The twins spent $11 million in 2013. This is back before anybody was doing this. And they purchased 1.5 million in Bitcoin. At that time, a single Bitcoin was a dollar or $120. This investment has grown by more than 45,000%. The twins uh, are said to own 1% of Bitcoin on the market. They created the Windex, invested 1.5 million in uh, Bit Instant, and have funded over a 10 Bitcoin related businesses. And when I say funded Bitcoin related businesses, there are now projects like the ones that the venture capitalists used to fund that are being funded by cryptocurrency. So number two, Chris Lawson. Chris Lawson is a Silicon Valley executive who's best known for co-founding several tech startups. And one of the most prominent of them is um, Ripple, a cryptocurrency. According to Forbes, Lawson owns 5.1 billion in Ripple units. And then number three, Michael Saylor. He is the CEO of software company Michael Strategies, made and lost a fortune during a dot-com crash. Seller's net worth has risen to $2.4 billion in early investment in Bitcoin. On MicroStrategy's quarterly earnings conference call last year, Seller revealed his intention to buy more Bitcoin, gold, and other cryptocurrencies. So as you can see, this trend towards this cryptocurrency is not going away. It's going to be up to you to decide how you play, right? And how you play and how you invest is going to determine if you make a whole lot of money, but it's also going to be important to remember that if your value went up to $1 billion and then the price dropped to $1 and you were still inside of that cryptocurrency investment, you in fact would have $1 worth of value. So just like any other investment, cryptocurrency becomes a uh, investment tool and you should invest wisely. But I hope that this helped you understand what's going on across the industry because it is here to stay. Cryptocurrency in its many forms represents the future of digital payments. And I wish you luck in your investment. If you like this video, please click like, and I'll talk to you soon. This is Mike Eccles.